give us more of a background of like what you do and, and why um, why wildlife? Yeah, uh, I guess the short story would be I've always been obsessed, like as a kid. As a kid, always obsessed with wildlife. I would be the weirdo, you know, collecting bugs under rocks and making little ecosystems in jars and just collecting frogs, all those things. And it kind of just as I same, got older. Same. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, as I got older, the passion just never left. And yeah. I went to school and took like outdoor adventure, expedition, survival type stuff, not wildlife related because I didn't have the marks to get into the zoology and all things I wanted yet because I was a jock hockey player and didn't focus on things I needed to focus on. So then um, I went and worked with birds of prey and things like that and found other avenues to jump back into what I always was passionate about. And then after I landed off the show and the platform came, I realized how much good I could do with just the advocating stuff that was I was doing. I was seeing great turnaround and a lot of change happening with petitions that I put out and seeing, you know, 10,000 petitions being signed. I'm okay, like there's something here, like something yeah. with this. Mm-hmm. And um, it just kind of flowed. And the more that I advocated, the more connections I made. And I realized that how much value I could bring to animals that didn't have a voice. And it just kind of spiraled into this crazy thing that is traveling around working with non-for-profit organizations that are trying to do good for certain species mostly endangered and um yeah this summer's kind of lined up into a whole bunch of different visits with uh, different organizations and that's kind of how it spiraled out of control okay so this last trip that you went on with noah and zach Yes. How did that come about? And did you plan that or did someone come to you? Or <laughs> So this organization, I, I, I actually have a, a, a partnership with an organization or a, a company that does wildlife bracelets that contribute 10% to certain organizations based on the one that you buy, whether it's a penguin or a polar bear. In this case, it was sharks. And so um, we made a, a connection through that uh, company that I work with. Um, and then it's just people knowing people. And then it was like, okay, well, how can we do something where we all win? And that was making a great experience, bringing down some other big personalities that have a great influence. And in turn, a great once a lifetime opportunity to do the things that we did. And um, then we shot content. We're making a little docu-series on the importance of uh, saving marine species and three shark, two shark species specifically that are critically endangered and another ray. Um, but yeah, just that's kind of how it came to be. And it's a great trade off from organizations. I just try to help them with my platform and in change, I get great experiences uh, doing things I've always wanted to do. So it's, it's been really uh, so fun. where this um, this past I don't want to call. Oh, it's a trip, I guess. Yeah, yeah this past trip. Um, yeah. Where where was the location? Where were you guys? So we're down in the Bahamas, uh, okay. but not, not the typical Bahamas that you think, which is there's two islands. So we went to Andros, which is a uh, a lot less popular island it's um more remote um and so we went down there and we were in two different parts of the island one was very remote we we're doing more of an exploration adventure type trip trying to find a species called the uh, sawfish um sawfish yes it's a it's a I don't know if you how to explain this. I'm Googling it. Has like, it. It, has Googling like, it has like a very long snout. It kind of looks like a chainsaw and and they are critically endangered. And so we're trying to find them um, in a certain remote area. Oh. That they haven't. Yeah. Kind of kind of freaky looking. Right. Yeah.